Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today is my boxy charm, well, actually boxy luxe because it is March. And it is that time for boxy Lux, which is pretty much the same. It's a subscription, but this one is seasonal. Every month you get your boxy charm for $25, and then every three months it's boxy Lux for an additional $28.99, I believe. You guys know how it is though, if you've been on my channel for a while, everything is down below in the description box. Makeup worn, um, the products that I got, their total retail value, a link to sign up if you are interested and all of that is there. Today's video is really exciting because not only will I be unboxing my Boxy Lux try on style. Um, I actually planned on just starting bareface today and made an intro for that and everything but then halfway through I was like never mind I'm doing something completely different because I forgot BoxyCharm last month in February had their pop-up sale and I ordered quite a bit from it so I wanted to do a kind of a haul with those products and then jump into my boxy Lux for March. So this is going to be a longer video and I apologize for that um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into the unboxing of my pop-up stuff that I got from their pop-up sale, talk a little bit about it, and then show you guys how I created this look with the products I got in my Boxy Lux. Okay, so this was my first time purchasing anything from the pop-up sale from Boxy Charm. Um, I didn't really know about it. Um, I didn't, I don't really know like about their add-ons or anything like that, but um, I figured out that they have these pop-up and add-ons kind of like FabFitFun and you guys know I love those. When I can get a really good deal on a product that I love or a product that I have had my eye on, I jump on it. So um, yeah, I just want to say from the get-go that I was super blown away by BoxyCharm's pop-up sales and if you guys are not familiar with them yet, you definitely need to check them out. Now things go super fast and popular items are going to sell out really fast so you have to make sure you're on top of your game. Um, I think they just recently had another sale and I missed it completely. By the time I got on there, there was literally like nothing available. and. Another downfall with it is I ordered everything in February, like the beginning of February, and I didn't get it until early March because they don't ship until the next month. But once the next month hits, they shipped automatically, and I believe I got my box of products within a week or so of the beginning of March. So that was nice. They really do keep their word that as soon as March hits, they start shipping or the, the following month they start shipping so shipping when the next month hit was super fast so I am happy about that but the way is a little tedious I can say um, I've had a lot of other stuff to play with so it hasn't bothered me too much and I've actually had these all month and have barely touched them because I wanted to unbox them for you guys but also um, do my own content for each of them as well so the day of when I ordered, I actually took screenshots of everything that I bought so that I could tell you guys the retail value of the product and what I spent from the pop-up. And right off the get-go, like I said, you guys know I love FabFitFun add-ons, but BoxyCharm, their prices were even better. Like, I was just blown away. So the first thing that I got that you guys are going to see me mention in this video because I talk about it, I got a product from Becca in my Boxy Lux, and I have it on my face today, but I mentioned later on that I really want to start trying out more of Becca products because I've always been a fan of Becca. I love some of their primers so much, so when I seen this primer on sale, on the pop-up sale, I was super excited. I love their um, first light priming filter and their back light priming filter. Those are two of my favorite primers. They are so good. But this is their Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer and it retails for $39 and I got it for only $8 during the pop-up sale. I thought that was insane. And all of these are full size too. This is the full size product. I'm going to be setting this aside for a full video. You guys know I love to do primer videos just like I do foundation videos. So yeah, but this is supposed to hydrate, nourish, and give you a little bit of like a glow while priming your skin. So that just sounds amazing to me. And like I said, I've been really wanting to try out more Becca products. Another product that you guys will see in a video very soon is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. Mouthful, but 
I have seen crazy, crazy uh, reviews on this product. So I'm going to be throwing this in a skincare Sunday very soon. I have, um, I think, one or two other skincare Sundays lined up coming your way first. But this one will be filmed very soon because I am very intrigued. I want to see how amazing this is. It's literally a mask you put on for 60 seconds and it's supposed to smooth, soft, and even your skin and really do like damage control on your pores. So I'm all about that. I also picked up this set from Glam Glow um, of their mask. This is like a mini set. I thought that these would be good for any skincare Sundays that I have where I'm wanting to try something different. Um, I can just try out one of these and maybe multi-mask with them, do different things like that. I thought it would be really good for content purposes. I also really want to try them out myself and see which ones, because I have tried a couple of them already, but the other ones that I haven't, I'm really excited to try out. But um, more than anything, I thought this would be a really nice uh, product. More than anything, I thought this would be a really good set to get for my skincare Sundays to help with like filler videos and stuff like that as well um, to make sure that I have a skincare Sunday every week for you guys because I really don't want to slack on those. I really enjoy filming them. But there is uh, six different products in here. One of them is the Clear Clarifier Super Mud Mask. There's the Firm Gravity Mud. The Hydrate Thirsty Mud, Detoxify Power Mud, the Brighten Flash Mud, and then their Moisturize Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing, um, Illuminating Moisturizer, which I love. I love that moisturizer so much, so I'm excited to have another little um, tube of it. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, this set retails for $39. It's actually... On this site, it says $39. I bought it for $12, which is insane. Um, but on here, you can actually, I think, get these at some Sephora's. And it says it has a $86 suggested value. Um, and then right there on it, it says $44. But yeah, I only got this for $12. So that's awesome. Okay, and then I went a little crazy with palettes. I'm a sucker for palettes. So I got one from Ciate London. I have never tried out their um, formula before in eyeshadow, so I really wanted to try this out. I don't think I have anyways. Um, I've tried mascaras, I've tried out um, their eyeliner. I love their setting powder. I'm actually wearing it today. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna be trying out their other setting powder and posting that one really soon. But I seen this palette on there, which is called the Editor Palette. And I remember when this came out, because I was actually really intrigued by it. It's the same <laughs> shiny packaging, mirror packaging going on. But when I first seen this palette, it just kind of reminded me of even like a Huda Beauty palette that I thought was really pretty that I never picked up. Um, so I thought this would be a really good time to pick it up. It's very like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Valentine's Day. It's very like flirty. Um, no shades are just beautiful, but also really pretty for like the springtime as well. But the overall palette I just thought was so pretty. Um, this retails for $32 and I got it for $9. And I believe this came out not too long ago. I could be wrong, but I do remember when this came out though because these exact colors I seen and I was like, that palette is so pretty, what is it called? And I remember it was the editor palette. So I was really excited to see it on the site. And then I've kind of mentioned these next two palettes um, as a little sneak peek because I filmed with the uh, Scarlet Dust palette, but I picked up two other Ace Beauté palettes. I thought I had picked up the other palette, the duo palette that goes with Scarlet Dusk, Something Dawn, but it's actually not that one. Um, it's actually the Flare palette that I picked up, but I have seen some people use this palette and it's really pretty. It's very bright from what I can remember. The packaging is very bright, but it reminds me a lot of the Scarlet Dusk packaging. And yeah, these are the colors. They're very different shades. And honestly, this palette and the next Ace Beauté palette I'm going to show you guys, I picked them up because for one, you could not beat the cost. These are $38.99 palettes for only $9. I thought that was just insane and incredible. So I couldn't pass up on it. But also because these are not really 
palette shades that I normally would go for or that I would be drawn to, I guess. I think they're really pretty, but I think these are going to be ones that I'm going to have to get very creative and very um, artsy with, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to kind of branch out to that, do that a little bit, but... The other one I have wanted for a while, and again, I'm just kind of like, it's not really my thing, I don't know, I've just been kind of torn on it. It is the Ace Beauté Oceanic, I think is how you pronounce that, but it has very vibrant blues and greens, it's super pretty, and it's just... I don't know if it's the greens that kind of throw me off because you guys know I love blue shadows. I like to play with blue a lot. I mean, I'm rocking a uh, kind of like a turquoise teal blue today. But um, yeah, there's just a lot going on here. And I think mainly, again, this color story is just very challenging for me. So I'm just going to have so much fun with both of these palettes trying to play them up and create crazy looks with them. After that, I was done ordering, and then the very next day, I happened to stumble back on there because, I don't know, I shouldn't have, but I ended up ordering a few more things, and funny enough, one of the things we got in our Boxy Lux this month is a spongy. But I actually picked up the Honey Blossom one through this sale because these retail for $16 and I got them for 4 I wish I would have picked up more, but I really love these and I just kind of wanted to get stocked up on them. I talk about it more later in this video because I got another one in my Boxy Lux. Another primer. I know it's excessive, but I was really intrigued by this when it launched and really intrigued still to try it out. This is from Kasia Beauty and it is their Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. So it's in an aerosol can and you spray it out and it's like a mousse that you rub on your face and it's like a primer. So another primer video will be coming on this one as well. This retails for $26 and I got it for $7. And then the last few things I picked up were my main reason for jumping back on the sale because I love Teeny. So I picked up a few of their items. I picked up um, my very first Teeny tumbler. Um, these retail for $25 and I got mine for seven. I also picked up their uh, set of honey spoons. Um, these are just wooden sticks that have honey formed as like a sucker, but it's um, ha complete honey that you can stir um, your tea with. And I am a hot tea drinker. I love hot tea, so I thought that they would be really cool. Those retail for $15, and I got that pack for $5. And I also picked up their blueberry flavored matcha to try out in a matcha latte or a matcha tea. Um, I was really intrigued by it. This retails for $30 on their site, and I've been watching it for a little while. So when I seen it was on here for um, $6, I jumped on that. <laughs> and I believe blueberry and chocolate were like the only two that were left. The other one sold out really fast. And I'm not really like that big on chocolate flavors when it comes to stuff like that. So I went with the blueberry to try it out. I have not tried out the matcha or the tumbler yet, but I just posted a whole blog on the Teamy honey spoons and their bloom tea. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll have that blog linked down below. But this intro is super, super long and I apologize that this video is probably going to be the longest unboxing and boxy charm try on ever. But I hope you guys still enjoy and keep on watching to see how I created this look and all the products that I got in my actual boxy lux. I was waiting for my boxy lux to come in. I'm always excited to get boxy charm, but there's just something about the boxy lux months that get me really hyped. And so I did get this in and this um, month it was pretty edgy was the theme. And like I said, boxy lux is their, um, seasonal one so it's like every three months so I received my box and was super excited about it and then I realized the next day that I had a package on my doorstep from BoxyCharm I have no idea if you guys follow me on Instagram then you guys probably seen it I'm not really sure why they sent me two it's the same exact products and everything so I don't know if maybe one of them had shipped my box and maybe didn't mark it off and somebody else had shipped it again. I have no idea what happened there. Let me know if it happened to you. Um, I didn't really know what to do from there, but I will definitely be setting this aside um, and will more than likely put most of this 
my next giveaway so make sure you guys are subscribing and sticking along i think my next giveaway is 700 uh subscribers so really exciting we're almost there so i will definitely have to set some of these products aside for that giveaway but yeah i just thought that was really crazy that two showed up but I'm not going to be touching any of those products in that box. Like I said, they're the same exact items. So I am just going to be using from my box that I got this month. But we actually got a mini ceramic curling iron, which I think was really cool. This is like a wand. So it doesn't have like your curling iron like clamp or anything, but it does have like the protector slip up here. But it is just a regular curling iron that you would roll your hair on um, or curling wand that you could just roll your hair on. Um, it just has like an off an off and on switch, so I'm assuming there's just like the standard temperature um, on this. It doesn't really look like there's an option to like change the heat, which is kind of like, uh, but um, for like a little mini one just to like take on the go and stuff like that, it would be really, I mean, nice to have. You don't have to pack like a full size wand or anything, but... Uh, and the color of this is very interesting. It's like this light yellow tan. It says that the compact design is safe for all hair types and has a maximum heat of 370 Fahrenheit. Of 370 Fahrenheit and it creates gorgeous curls with ease and keeps hair healthy and even heat distribution and adjustable temperature control. And it does retail for $50. So it is really nice to get uh, products like this. Um, the next products that we got is from Sol de Janeiro, and I feel like this is very repetitive with subscriptions now, and um, it's still kind of something that I'm always really excited for. I love Sol de Janeiro. They just announced their um, Boom Boom Cream, but like the scent of it and an actual fragrance, and since I've been on a fragrance kick, I'm going to have to try it out and get on there and get it at some point, but... They sent out this month two little minis, which I thought was really nice to kind of have like a little duo set of their Brazilian Boom Boom and then their Coco Cabana cream. So I am really intrigued by the this one because I have heard that they've like redone the formula. They like revamped it a little bit. It smells so good though. I love both of these so much. I definitely use my Boom Boom cream a lot more than I do of my Coco Cabana because I actually own both of these already and I keep continuing to get them in subscriptions as well. But I really do like them. They smell amazing. They are amazing, amazing products. Highly recommend them. Um, before too long, I do want to end up doing a blog post or something um, with all the products that I have from Sol de Janeiro. I may even make a video. I'm not sure if that would be something you guys would want to see or not, but I am a huge fan of Sol de Janeiro and their products are amazing. These retail, I believe, for $15 it says. I don't know if that's each or together, but they're really nice to get. And for anybody who is subscribed that's never tried those, it's a good way for them to be able to try them. I'm just going to keep going down the list on my little sheet they sent. The next product is the BoxyCharm. This is actually BoxyCharm brand, I'm assuming. This is their Hello Charmer palette. And I'm going to try it out today and see what I think. So it does have like a little slip on it that slides off. And then the palette says Hello Charmer. And then... um. It's kind of hard to see. It's like a matte packaging, but all the writing is like a glossy. And the glossy black says at Boxy Charm underscore babes, at Boxy Charm, I mean, Canada, I mean, at Boxy Charm swap, uh, at Boxy Charm beauties. And then there's also hashtags. It's pretty cute, but um, I am really intrigued by how this is going to do formula wise. I don't know, but it has some really pretty shades. Let me take, they do have a slip. So the way that they've presented it is really beautiful, I think. The packaging doesn't feel like amazing, but the shades are really pretty. I'm really intrigued by a lot of these. So I do, I think I'm actually going to pause and go ahead and start trying out this palette. So first I'm going to be dipping into, I'm gonna dip into premium, which is that like, cream tan shade. Um, I did want to say that I knew I had a palette in here so I did put some uh, MAC Paint Pot, the shade Painterly, on my lids already. So I am going over a good base. I, like I was saying, I'm not going to be able to really do a wear test 
but if I feel like this palette is pretty decent quality, I'll go ahead and do a um, full four looks one palette so I can give you guys like my full thoughts and review on it and then a follow-up blog if you're interested in that. But um, just to kind of see, because I don't know if this is them like putting their foot in the door. They've done collab palettes with Pure Cosmetics and that type of ordeal. So I don't know if this is their way of saying, hey, we're going to start having our own palettes through BoxyCharm every once in a while. But I definitely want to see how the formula is because if they continue to send them out and even like every other month or maybe just when it's Boxy Lux time, is it really going to be worth it instead of getting another brand with a palette from a brand that we already know and love? So that's what I want to test out with this and see. I don't know if this palette's going to become available for people to buy, maybe on their Boxy pop-up sale. Now I'm going to be going into Charmer because I'm going to try out one of the metallics. It's a bright blue. I can't say there is a crazy amount of fallout going on um, and I'm having to build up that metallic a little bit from blending around it. I am going to take Pop Up, which is this like shimmer right here, and I'm going to use it on my brow bone and inner corner. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not loving it. I don't think it's too terrible, but I did have like quite a bit of fallout. I still have like glitter specks all along my cheeks, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I feel like it's kind of hard to blend the metallic and the matte together. I haven't really watched any other unboxings um, of, of, of BoxyCharm this month, so I don't know if other people were having this struggle as well, but... I don't know, it just kind of looks a little uh, patchy. Okay, I am back with more makeup on. So first of all, I wanna talk about the next product right here, which has become an absolute gem. I love this. This is from PMD Beauty, and it is their Smart Facial Cleansing Device. So as you guys can see on the front, you have these little, like a little rubber silicone um, bristles. So it's like any type of silicone cleanser tool. I have one that I love, Foreo, is that how you say it? I've mentioned it before. I've meant to do a whole video on it. I think I'm gonna end up doing a whole skincare Sunday soon on different cleansing devices like this in general and just break them down for you guys on what I like about each one of them. But this one is really cool because it has the silicone bristles on one side and then the other side it has like these little grooves. Um, and then the button that you push does send off like the vibration so it's not it's a lot like the one I was talking about so it's not like an actual brush that spins or vibrates or anything like that it's an actual um it's just the silicone bristles um but these are really nice there's different like wave lengths too like there's different um ones I personally don't really see a difference with the different ones. I just like these types for like my bad pore areas. I feel like it really helps get all the dirt out and um, keeps my face pretty clean when it comes to blackheads and that type of ordeal. So that's why I really like the silicone ones for that. This does retail for $99 and I was so surprised that we got this in a boxy lux. I was super excited about it and I love it. Um, the next one I'm going to skip for just a minute and go to this one. This is from Becca. It is their Skin Love Glow Glaze Stick. And I haven't really looked at this yet, so I don't know um, what shade it's going to be. I'm hoping I can play with it today. Um, I'm using the Pixie Beauty um, Beauty Blush Duo in the shade Rose Gold, so it has a blush and a highlight. I just have the blush on right now, so if I do need to end up using a powder highlight, I'll use that one. But this is what the packaging looks like. I have a lot of fingerprints on it now because it's one of those uh, shiny packagings that gets dirty pretty fast. But this retails for $28 and it's just like a stick highlighter. 
So I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. I'm a little nervous too, cause I kind of went in with the powder today. So it's really pretty. I feel like it's just gonna be a little dewy though. I feel like it's not going to, I'm gonna try to melt some on my finger and then just kind of tap it. I feel like if anything, it's just gonna give me a little bit of a dewy look. I feel like this would be a product that would be really pretty to use um, on bare skin, like if you're having a really good skin day and you wanna go very minimal with just like some moisturizer, some SPF and um, out the door, if you want a little bit of a highlight moment, um, highlight sticks are really nice because if you don't have product on your face already, you can just run the stick, you know, just over your face and then blend it out with a finger. It is really pretty, but yeah, on makeup like this, I feel like it is pretty subtle. I also received another spun jelly. I still don't know how to pronounce these. I've gotten so many of these through subscriptions, like FabFitFun. Um, I love the one through FabFitFun so much. And then I think Box, maybe it was Boxy Lux that sent the pedicure and handset. I still have it. I haven't tried that one yet, but I loved the one that I got from Fat Fit Fun in the first place that I ordered another one. And it might have been through the pop-up. You guys might have seen it at the beginning of this, but I really do love these. These are body wash infused buffers. So nice to have in the shower and they last for a pretty decent time, but they're kind of like uh, loofahs, so you have to, you know, throw them away. But the nice thing with this is that it's infused with stuff, so like once it stops like foaming up for you, you know it's time to just go ahead and toss it, so that's really nice. And those retail for $16. And then the last two products that we got, I'm gonna go ahead and go over now. Um, I got a NARS. Power Matte Lip Pigment. It's a full size one, so I'm really excited that NARS is included in this. And then I got a gel liner in the shade Naked from Appeal Cosmetics. So I am gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. I can't remember what shade this is, and now I'm kind of sweating a little bit because of my eye look. <sighs> it looks like it's a bright pink. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try to pair these two up on my lips. And I'm also going to run a little bit more of the a premium shade from this palette on my lower lash line. So I'm going to do all of that and then add some setting spray, some mascara, and wrap up this look for us. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's very bright and vibrant, um, very summertime-ish, but I'm really liking it. I think it's cute. I don't see myself wearing this lip shade all too often. I think it's really pretty, but I think even the liner by itself, it's really nice getting a lip liner that is just like a nude instead of like a red or a hot pink. So I really do like the lip liner shade though, and I'll have to make sure I use that again soon. Um, last thing is first impressions on the palette. Um, like I said, I kind of mentioned the color story and all that, but um, so far, still, I'm not like super, super impressed, but it's not like awful either. Um, I definitely will be doing a four looks, uh, one palette with this coming up. It looks like I will have a lot of time to do that being quarantined, so hopefully I will have that one um, up on that palette in a couple of weeks for you guys, but let me know if you guys liked your boxy Lux this month, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.